September 23rd, The Missionary's Goal He said to them, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, Luke 18, verse 31. In our natural life, our ambitions change as we grow, but in the Christian life, the goal is given at the very beginning, and the beginning and end are exactly the same, namely, our Lord Himself. We must start with Christ, and we end with Him, till we all come to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, Ephesians 4, verse 13, not simply to our own idea of what the Christian life should be. The goal of the missionary is to do God's will, not to be useful or to win the lost. A missionary is useful, and he does win the lost, but that is not the goal. His goal is to do the will of his Lord. In our Lord's life, Jerusalem was the place where he reached the culmination of his Father's will upon the cross, and unless we go there with Jesus, we will have no friendship or fellowship with him. Nothing ever diverted our Lord on his way to Jerusalem. He never hurried through certain villages where he was persecuted or lingered in others where he was blessed. Neither gratitude nor ingratitude turned our Lord even the slightest degree away from his purpose to go up to Jerusalem. A disciple is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his master. Matthew 10, verse 24. In other words, the same things that happen to our Lord will happen to us on our way to our Jerusalem. There will be works of God exhibited through us. People will get blessed, and one or two will show gratitude while the rest will show total ingratitude. But nothing must divert us from going up to our Jerusalem. And there they crucified him. Luke 23, verse 33. That is what happened when our Lord reached Jerusalem, and that event is the doorway to our salvation. The saints, however, do not end in crucifixion. By the Lord's grace, they end in glory. In the meantime, our watchword should be summed up by each of us saying, I too go up to Jerusalem.